All right. The last part to this. Uh, I didn't. I didn't figure you guys wanted to watch me like pick out the male doobie one by one and throw them back in here, but uh, I threw back in about. I think about twenty, twenty-five, somewhere in there. The rest of them I put over here and here, so they're all gonna be fears for my scorpions and my tea and everything. Along with the babies or nymphs, they're still babies. You guys know what I mean, anyway. Oh, and they're good, set up just like the regular doobie, except they don't have heat on them because they really don't need it because they're just food and not really looking for them to, you know, do too much. So just putting them in there and letting them up. Somebody might throw some water crystal into the frass, which, you know, they're going to stand there. No mold. They pretty much set up the same. I feed them just like I do everything else. No difference, except for their own feeders, and it's a lot more of them. All right. Um, like I said, I got this set up. I don't know if I put this stuff back in here. I keep these in here just for, like, the babies, or the, you know, the baby nymphs like to hide in here. They love these things for some odd reason, so I put them in there. More places to hide, and somebody is hiding in the food. Yeah, Lord, get out of here. Where are the females hiding the food? Go. Yeah. Oh, but that's basically, I mean, gave you guys some pointers and stuff like how to, um, Separate your dubia. It's a lot easier than separating the histories, I can tell you that for a fact. But just when you clean out your colony and separate them and everything, just make sure you clean your bins out and sterilize them with some hot water. Wash them out real good. Don't use too much, like, non, you know, I guess wrong chemical soap. I mean, if you want to use a little bit of soap, you only need like a couple drops, like seriously, even though you got a big band, a couple drops of Dawn, and you know, the antibacterial Dawn, that's like the safest thing for them, period. I'm sure some out there probably sell some kind of spray or something to do it, but I mean, Dawn is like the most cleanest thing. They wash animals off with them for oil spills, so hey, they should be, they should be good for my dubia. But uh, that's about it. I'm going to get this stuff like squared up, and uh, I don't know. Like I said, that's how you separate your dubia. Like I said, just get two buckets. I went to Walmart. You know, Walmart exclusives. Uh, take your drill, just drill a bunch of holes in the bottom. Make sure they're kind of sand it off a little bit so the nymphs will fall through. Second bucket, you know, like I said, just put them in there. Uh, put them in there, weave them around a little bit, tap them off, you know, and you got your separation. Put your female, put all your adults back in here, and have something else to put your um, feeders in, or the, you know the baby nymphs. I did it with the hissers too, and the hissers are in here. You see, seen from the last video, they're thriving pretty good in here. But that's about it. I'm gonna quit boring you. I get this stuff done because it's hot in here. And I want to get out of here. And of course, I got my fan club over here. That's Baby and Hercules. My English masters, they're both just chilling in here. Cause, <clears throat> oh, excuse me. I've been here working, so. But all right. Uh, you guys have a good night. Uh, rate, subscribe, and there'll be more to come. Later.